the one point perspective starts out with a paper turned landscape and a horizontal line drawn across the face of it. A dot in the middle represents what we call a vanishing point. We're going to have two diagonal lines coming from our vanishing point. So we line our ruler up with our vanishing point and draw a line from the vanishing point to the left bottom corner of the paper. We do the same thing on the right. Then we put one above on the left and one above about a similar distance on the right. Okay, now to give the illusion of a sidewalk, we put two more diagonal lines below the inner diagonal lines for the sidewalk. It gives the sidewalk an illusion of being raised from the surface of the road itself. We then put horizontal lines on our sidewalk, which makes the illusion look even more realistic. We put vertical lines that will be lined up with each of our horizontal lines on the sidewalk. We'll make it look more three-dimensional. Our next step is to draw a white line. We find the center of the road and then put a diagonal line equidistance to the left and the right of our center line. This vertical line that we're about to draw will represent our post, our utility pole. You draw one first and line the top of it up with your vanishing point. That construction line in red will determine the one to the right and left of it. So you start by drawing two to the right. Okay, so it start at the sidewalk and end at the construction line and one to the left of our original vertical line. Now this will be the beginning of our utility poles. We put a horizontal line at the top and the bottom of our utility pole furthest to the left and this gives us the width of our post. We put a, another vertical line and we do the same to the ones that are to the right of the original pole or the biggest one, one that's closest to us. Curve the lines so they look cylindrical. Erase the horizontal line that runs through the pole so that they look solid. We can clean up our curve lines. Now so we'll be drawing the lights and we draw a diagonal line attached to each of the poles. We have to make sure that the one that's closest to us is widest. And then they'll get thinner as you go towards the vanishing point. And you put a horizontal line on top of each of them and complete the illusion of the light with curve lines. So we're drawing our hills, our mountains. We're just going to be using 
wavy lines. You can start from the left or the right side of the paper, it doesn't matter. But I'll be starting from the right. You can start from the left, that's quite fine. You make curve lines. You can put two layers so it looks like the mountains are receding in the distance. Then erase the lines that run through your light post. We're going to be drawing a railing on the sidewalk to the right. You can imagine that to the right of that sidewalk there's water, so the railing would be protected. So the vertical lines beneath the railing would give the poles something to hold it up. You put the curve lines there so that they look like small posts. The next thing that we do is we put horizontal lines on our white line so that they look like broken white lines rather than a continuous white line. So between these two horizontal lines we erase the space and it gives the impression of broken white lines. And then we can clean up all our lines so that the drawing looks neat. We can put more vertical lines on our railing as it goes towards the vanishing point in the distance. Then finally we draw clouds which are simply curved lines with some shade beneath so it looks three dimensional. Then we erase anything that overlaps and our drawing is completed.